morning guys! So this is our second video for our PEPT overview. Nung nakaraan, sinare ko yung mga pwedeng coverage na exam based sa MELT na binigay ng Department of Education. At ngayon naman, second subject na tayo about science ng junior high school. So science, isa to sa mga interesting na subject para sa akin dahil nagsa-challenge talaga nito yung utak natin at nakapagbigay ito ng iba't ibang tulong or advices para maging mas maayos yung buhay, mas mapadali yung gawain at iba't ibang discoveries na out of this world kaya pag-aralan natin mabuti ang science. So una, sa grade 7, ito yung mga included na topic. Okay. First grading, scientific ways of acquiring knowledge and solving problems. So about scientific process. Ito naalala ko nung high school, ito rin yung pinaka-lesson namin about mga scientific method. Ayan. Classifying substance as element and compound, diba? Sa grade 7 na siya, unlike dati, sa grade, dati, um, third year high school namin ito pinag-aralan, elements, chemistry. Important properties of solution, kasama din sa exam yan. Second grading, the part and function of compound microscope, parts of microscope. Different levels of biological organization. Difference between plants and animal cell. Reproduction being both sexual and asexual. Organism interacting with each other with their environment to survive. Third grading na tayo. Motion in one dimension. Waves as carries of energy. The characteristics of light. How heat transferred. Charges and different charging process. And last, fourth grading para sa grade 7. The relation of geographical location in the Philippines to its environment. The different phenomena that occurs in the atmosphere. The relationship of season and the proposition of sun in the sky. And occurrence of eclipse. Yan. So kung mapapansin natin kung dati, um, yung science is nakabay category siya unlike ngayon sa K-12 curriculum spiral approach talaga mula grade 7 pag-aaralan na yung mga chemistry, physics, biology unlike dati kasi by grade level yan ngayon mas exciting na yung science mas malawak na yung coverage siya kaya dapat mas naiintindahan ng bata okay? lalo na yung kinagkaya ba kasi ng science sa history based on fact siya pero more on application or importance kaya dapat alam yung iba't ibang theory or principle about science okay, grade 8 lesson na po tayo Newton's three law of motion ayan, so isa yan sa mga sikat na scientist si Newton at pag naintindahan yung rules niya more on madalas uh, application yung tanong or paano ginagamit like Newton Olympics Propagation of sound through solid, liquid, and gas. Yan, magandang lesson yung sound. Some properties and characteristics of visible light. Heat, temperature, and effects of heat to the body. Kasama na rin sa lesson ng grade 8 ang electricity. Favorite ko yan. Voltage, resistance, relationship, electric power, electric energy, and home circuit. Third grading. The relationship between fault and earthquake. Formation of typhoon and their movement within the par. Characteristics of comet, meteor, and asteroid. The particle nature of matter as basis for explaining properties, physical changes, and structural layer of substance and mixture. The identity of substance according to atomic structure. And last one, the periodic table of element. Ayan, so yun yung third grading. At para sa fourth grading lesson nila, Digestive system and interaction with circulatory, respiratory, and excretory system providing the body with nutrients of energy, human body. Disease that result from nutrients deficiency and ingestion of harmful substance and their prevention and treatment. How cell divided to produce new cell. Meiosis, one of the progress of producing gene variation. The concepts of species, the species being further classified into hierarchical taxonomic system. One way flow of energy and cycling of materials in ecosystem. That is grade 8 lesson ng science. So may mga naulit at meron din mga bagong lesson. Grade 9. 
structure of circulatory and respiratory system at paano siya nagpapunction? Dapat alam na namin yun. The prevention, detection, and treatment of disease affecting circulatory and respiratory system. So, naalala ko, romantic doctor. Grabe talaga yung palabas na yun. Parang gusto ko na rin maging doktor dahil marami silang buhay na inaililigtas at naka-inspire sila ng iba't ibang mga tao. How changes in the environment may affect the species extinction? Ayan, like mga dinosaur, bakit wala na sila sa mundo o yung iba't ibang mga hayop? The structure and function of plants, parts, organelles evolved in photosynthesis. The structure and function of mitochondrion as a main organelle involved in respiration. Second grading. The development of atomic model that leads to the description of behavior of electron within atom. Atom ulit. Forces that hold metal together. The type of bond that carbon atom, the result in diversity of carbon compound. The unit mole that quantitatively measure the number of very small particles in matter. Third grading. Volcanoes found in the Philippines. Factors that affect climate and the effect of changing climate and how to adapt accordingly. The relationship between visible constellation and sky earth proposition along the orbit. And last, fourth grading, projectile motion in pans and momentum of conservation of linear momentum, conservation of energy and mechanical energy, the relationship among heat, work, and efficiency, generation, transmission, and distribution of electrical energy from power plants like hydroelectric, geothermal, wind, and nuclear home energy. So, napahalaga talaga ng science, di ba? Na-imagine mo ba yung buhay kung walang energy, kung walang technology. And last, lesson po ng grade 10. The relationship among the location of volcanoes, earthquake, epicenter, and mountain ranges. Interesting tong topic na to. Different region of electromagnetic spectrum. The image formed by different types of mirrors and lenses. So, din to, mirrors. The relationship between electricity, magnetism, and electric motors and generators. Third grading. The organism as having feedback mechanism which is coordinated by the nervous and endocrine system. How this feedback mechanism help the organism maintain the homeostasis to reproduce and survive. Kung mapapansin nyo yung mga lessons sa grade 8 tsaka grade 7, sa grade 10 ito na yung pinaka-application or pinaka-mas malalim na level na ng topic na yon. The information stored in DNA as being used to make proteins. How a DNA molecule may cause change in its product. Mutation that occurs in sex as being heritable. So, naalala ko si KMJS pag sinabing DNA. Napakahalagang part ng body yung DNA na yan. The influence of biodiversity on the stability of ecosystem. An ecosystem as being capable for supporting limited number of ecosystems organisms. Ayan. So, kung napag-aralan yung ecosystem sa grade 8, sa grade 10, nandun yung pinaka-application or pinaka-importance niya. Last na po tayo, fourth grading grade 10. How gases behave based on the motion and relative distances between gas particles. The structure of biomolecules which are made up of mostly limited number of elements such as carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. The chemical, uh, chemical reaction associated with biological an industrial process affecting the life and the environment. So, yun ang mga lesson sa science. So, kung titignan natin na napakahalaga ng mga lesson at yung application talaga sa buhay ng tao, paano siya makakatulong at paano nito mababago yung kalakaran sa buhay. At kung interesting ka talaga sa subject na science, pag nag ka ng senior high school, kunin mo ang STEM or Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics at guided kayo nun para kumura din ng mga science courses sa college. So, yun lang po. Sana makatulong ang video na to.